Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading and this is for Gemini Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with a Gemini, you're gonna assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who is new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There's a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading so gems if you would love to know your lucky numbers and lucky color follow me on instagram um that's dated may the uh, 15th to the 21st and if you also want to know your financial forecast follow me on instagram as well if you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages, please subscribe to the other channel. That is Timeless Row 111. And if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, you can come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So, gems, I would appreciate if you can click the subscribe, like, and share. At sa mga kababayan natin, pakiclick na lang din po ang subscribe, like, at pakishare ang videos. At pas um, and I'm sorry, my voice is um, not really well. I'm actually safe right now, but I'm here to send you the message. First card is the Three of Cubs, um, the Death card, and the Three of Swords. So, you're seeing the transition, right? There's a transition here. It felt like to me that the transition is not in your favor. That's how you feel. Um, because it started with a celebration. Probably you met your person into a party, celebration, event. You know, something that is happy. Um, now, I'm seeing here that there is... A separation between you and your person and the separation here um, is more of physical and emotional both um, physical might be your person you know really turn their back on this connection um, went to you know went isolated less communication to no communication at all that's why you are hurting um, you may still be living in the same place. However, it felt like to me that there is really no, um, there's really, you're not really on the same page here. Well, um, that's how you thought of it, you know, the separation. For those singles, I can sense here that all of a sudden your connection suddenly stopped, right? Um, without you even noticing it without even you seeing it coming uh, for those who are in a relationship it just got cold all of a sudden um, I can sense here that probably your person here is doing something but I'm not seeing any third party here yet so far um, and I can sense that they are trying to give you you know um, at least give you the affection the time one day at a time um, let's say but but the, the the intensity got lessened now you're having some fear right but you still love the person now let's check here um, with the three of the three of cups with a son of cups here and the moon now there's a lot of questions in your head um probably you're also checking their moves their activities and you're hurting because for a few numbers of you there's an age gap here um you're hurting because now 
your um, dynamic is contaminated contamination here depicts a third party situation um, but this is, but this third party situation or the th third party here was not really thought of kind of like it was just fun to them I can see an age gap between you both right um, probably you don't know this but you're feeling that your person's getting a little cold it's because they are focusing on some other attention there's no other um, cards here cross watchers uh, that needs to be clarified cross watchers if you feel like this is your reading so be it and um champs if you feel like you will be in this side that is okay i'm not reading which side you at i'm reading the energy though i can sense here that they are trying to you know um at least giving this nurturing abundance i saw angel number 555 this nurturing abundance to someone that they are waiting and I can see your five of ones which indications of a third party situation probably they are pleasing someone else is here but they have to make a better judgment and the universe is kind of like will tap them you know on their shoulder um, I can sense here that they will miss you in the process of giving you know, the other person their time energy because it will not be reciprocated and I can feel here that they feel they're going to feel lost in the game of chase, um, of chasing other people. Now, let's see. With the Ten of Swords, you know, justice. Now, they're going to come back to you and will be passionate with you because you are the only person who accepts them. This is what I am seeing. So, there will be a remorse why they suddenly give you, you know, give up on you, right? With Ace of Pentacles... And the nine of wands here, I can sense that the third party here, the, the 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 energy that they are interested in, they don't like them. Um, that's why they're going to come back here and give you this abundant beginning. So gems, you might be connecting here with Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement in their chart, or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart. Um, Pisces or has a Pisces placement in their chart or you have a Pisces placement in your chart um, and a lot of placements here uh, Libra or has a Libra placement in their chart or you have a Libra placement in your chart Leo or has a Leo placement in their chart or you have a Leo placement in your chart Taurus or has a Taurus placement in their chart or you have a Taurus placement in your chart which only makes sense you might be a cusp right after Taurus is Gemini so this is your reading if you resonate with this and you want to go in depth you can book a personal reading with me if you are okay with the reading and you just have a question or two there is a link in the description box click that link you'll be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading thank you so much for watching love and light to you namaste see you on the next reading Goodbye, gems.